How do you assess this one? Uh, that's a tough one to assess. Uh, you know, we did. Uh, we started the game, did a lot of great things, and uh, I thought defensively uh, we really struggled but down low. I thought our defense really, you know, had a tough tough time down low. We we made some poor decisions uh, that led to some pretty big chances. Some of our coverage was we were above the puck and you know in the offensive zone, and they got inside us. But, you know, when the game was right there, we I thought we were the better team. And then, you know, when it got out of hand, we had, we had too many guys leaning on the offensive side and not ready to pay a big enough price to, you know, keep it pretty comfortable. And I thought uh, Lutz made some big saves. Uh, you know, he was our best player, I thought, by far. You know, even uh, the early breakaway save, I thought, was a, you know, was a big momentum. You get that. You know, when you're going to make a save like that, that gives you good momentum. With the line, the same line, does that set a pace at all that's too holly gully or not? Or do you think they they did a good job of creating and, and maintaining defense? Well, you, you would have to show me a line that wasn't holly wow. gully tonight. <laughs> uh, you, you know, if you're gonna, I, I actually thought probably our best line was a Horkoff line. Uh, for, you know, playing both ways, uh, being diligent with the puck, making good decisions. Uh, Coley did a great job of going to the net. Uh, you know, Hork made a couple good plays, but I thought defensively they they locked in to, to playing a you know the way we need to play. <coughs> uh, there was other teams I, I saw guys just leaning on on trying to go the other way, thinking this could be a you know seven eight nine one game, and it doesn't work that way. Uh, I thought they they came with a pretty hard push, and uh, the thing I liked is we were able to kill a couple penalties, which you know could have got a little scary for us. What we about the shot differential things like that at this stage, and it's hard to assess because the games have been so different. I, you know what, I'm concerned. I think our, you know, our defense needs to play better. It hasn't played well enough. We've played you know, different games where we've played two periods, we've played one period, we've played 30 minutes. Um, you know, the shot differential, the, the chance differential is, is lean, and tonight was lean, lean heavily in their favor. Um, you know, that's an obvious statement. Chance-wise, it was the same, not only shots, but chance-wise, when you, when you get inside. Uh, last game was the same. The shots weren't as, as bad, but the chances were still. And uh, sooner or later, that catches up to you, unless you correct it. Uh, and we had, we had some plays tonight that are easy to correct. Um, you know, we've got some defensemen back there that, uh, you know, they, they're young. They're inexperienced. They, they were under the gun sometimes against some of the best players. Uh, you know, we lost the defenseman for a good period of time with, uh, you know, with a laceration and put some guys under the gun that weren't able to handle some of those situations. And uh, you know, we've got uh, two days of practice to work hard at you know, cleaning that up and, uh, and getting our forwards to help a little bit more. On the positive side, at one point tonight, 25 to 11, face-offs one advantage. It ended up being something like 37-27. Were you happy with that? Yeah, yeah. I thought face-offs after two periods were 72% or something like that. That was good. The penalty killing was good. Uh, I thought our power play, the first unit passed up some big opportunities to, to shoot it early. Uh, you know, obviously Cole got us one. Penalty killing. Uh, our defending, I, I've got a lot of work to do with our defending. And uh, I've got to get that cleaned up because and some of the defending is, is being able to play with the puck in the offensive zone, which, you know, as the game went on, we didn't do a very good job. So uh, it's not just the defense, it's the forwards that need to put a little bit more work in. And you, as you work on all this with 3-1-2, and two, that has to be a pretty good feeling. Yeah, that, that, that is. I mean, you know, we lost the game here in overtime, though we played really well against Chicago. And, uh, you know, you can look at it that, uh, you know, sometimes it, uh, it all evens out, and uh, maybe a little bit. But it, it also tells you there's there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, there's six games into the season, and we've lost. You know, Nemeth was a pretty key piece to our defensive core, and and uh, now we're going to have to uh, you know make sure that we shore that up and get going in the right direction. As far as the defense goes, it's a little similar to to last season where it took you know almost half the season for the defense to really find their groove in the system. Well, I don't want to be waiting half a season. I can tell you that right now. It, uh, you know, we've it's been different struggles, but we we, we got to play better. I mean, you know that you know, I got I got work to do. You know that falls on my shoulders, and uh, 
you know, I got two days of practice to, to get us, you know, I think mentally where I need. I thought the, the last game was a little bit of mental focus. Tonight was some cheating, but this tonight was some, well, we got flat out battled in some situations. What did you think of Olesniak's performance tonight? Of who? Olesniak, Jamie Olesniak. Um, I thought okay. Uh, you know, it, uh, you know, I think, you know, the defense is a group. I, I mean, there's some plays that he got beat one on one. There was a couple where the, the one goal was coverage, uh, but it's only a second game too, and uh, you know I got to get him feeling comfortable about the way he needs to play and uh, you know finding his coverage. And he's he's a young D with very few games, so it's uh, it's up to us to you know make sure we can get him where we need him. You mentioned the uh, momentum swing when Letna made the save. Was it an even bigger swing when you actually got a goal in that part? <coughs> yeah, I, you know, I think that's that is the. Yeah, I mean, that's the ultimate trade-off. You, you get that big save, and then you go the other way. Uh, um, you know, it was you know, a situation where you know they're they're either coming back or we turn it and go the other way and get one. And that uh, you know, a lot of times you see that where the, that one big save leads to a goal going the other way. Twice tonight, you had instances where goals were scored within a minute, back to back. You had a goal scored after they got one. As a coach, do you like to see how your team responds after they get a score and be able to answer back? Well, you, yeah, the answer to that is yes. I mean, uh, you know, you, you think the other team's going to get a little momentum, and you, you need you need somebody to go out and kind of sway it back your way because if they score, you know, it, uh, they might get us on our heels. There was a period of time I actually thought about, you know, taking a time out. And, but I had a TV timeout. I addressed the team and talked about what we needed, and you know we still didn't quite get to where we wanted to get to. Let me talk about the challenge of this two-game road trip going to uh, New Jersey and the Islanders. Well, but both teams have played are playing very well. Uh, the Islanders have been really the kind of the surprise. Uh, Jersey is, is a, just history alone. I've right? been in that building enough. It's one of the toughest places to you know scrape some goals out of and get some offense, and they're. Uh, uh, they're a very diligent club. Uh, they've been good offensively. You know, I went through their numbers. They've been good offensively this year, which is maybe a little bit different because usually it's the defense that gets them. And I think their goaltender has been real good. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Practice tomorrow is at 11 in Frisco.